Well, hello there. It's Christine here. Welcome to my channel. I am doing a VR or video response that I ran across on Martin's Musings um, YouTube channel, and um, the challenge has been set by Marilyn from Tarot Clarity, and uh, I just it was just so intriguing to uh, listen to Martin's story, and I also went over to Diane Jacoby's channel and uh i'll put a list of a few things i'm wanting to get through all the vrs because i'm it's very interesting to hear people's story so thank you marilyn for uh creating this challenge and i'll do my best to answer it okay are there any types of readings that you won't do and why not well this is an interesting question for me because i had uh tarot cards at 15 and I had um, I also used to read Linda Goodman's Sun Sign and I'm at high school and I'd be answering uh, love questions from school friends on our front lawn after school um, pick a card look up the book <laughs> this one that one so um, I probably had a bit of a interesting start with that when I was in my teens rolling along I went on to study astrology and um, would read tarot just for my friends and various people at work uh, and I was a nurse so I learnt um, what you can say to people and what you can't say to people quite easily and for me I have found um, I'll just quickly run you forward to then um, I then didn't read professionally. I read for lots of friends and things, but I didn't read for friend professionally until the 90s. And I was in Cairns and I'd moved to Cairns and we bought a business and I was in a bit of a loss and I was working part-time at a hospital and I just sort of felt something wasn't sitting right. So I, um, they built, uh, what was it called, uh, the pier. And I was walking around there and I saw a reader in a little hut there and I thought, yeah, but I'm gonna have a reading and to see what the cards have to say from someone else and so I had this reading with this girl and she said you could do this and I said uh, yeah I know I can but yeah <laughs> and she said I need someone to start in my store because I desperately need time off can you start next week well that was quite interesting and I turned up with this deck which I'm showing you uh, and the clients didn't like it um, and so I had to quickly go out and buy a Rider Waite Smith deck um, and sort of m work my way through that, which was okay with the majors and things. It was okay because the clients wanted to see the pictures back then, and I'm talking mid 90s. Also, um, because if you read with the soft bed, I don't like that deck and didn't want playing cards, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, what else what was it all about and people would just literally at a market because uh, she had a store seven days would literally flunk up with everything so uh, and anything and gen people don't come for readings unless something's pretty much going wrong 98% of the time the other 2% will be someone oh we've just bought a business and still going thing and we feel it's going to go well can you please just have a look at the cards and, and confirm that it's going well but for most people they're quite troubled and a lot of the times you've got to sort of listen to them this is my way and, and there's no right or wrong way but for me I found you just got to listen to them and find out what the real question is because they might be asking about um, is he having an affair or um, is he um, you know coming back and all this stuff but a lot of times I've learned it's just anxiety and it's good to talk to people obviously I don't diagnose I don't diagnose in any stage in any form not even for my neighbor because I'm not a doctor so I guess medical would be the case uh, but then I would say well it sounds like you need to see a doctor and that would be the same if they did a reading as for readings about death my it's been my experience that people know when they're dying and the card this will come up and you're sort of thinking I, I pause when I read a lot because um, I'm gathering my thoughts I'm, I'm an air sign so Librans like to get what you're going to say right and so and they'll say look I know I've got three months to live 
and then that opens up a conversation but that's what I, I have found for me so I pretty much will read anything in the context that I talk to the client and find out what is it that they really want to know but that's that's my my style given my background I guess I don't know um, which card do you identify with at the most oh dear uh, I like the lovers card because in the in the Marseille deck it is got three people and the about the decision and everything so I, in the Marseille deck I identify with the lovers card a lot because it's all about choice and weighing it up but one of my favorite cards would be the star and uh, years ago I don't know if other readers have this uh, this notion because I'm pretty much a lone wolf but um, for me when I was um, reading a lot of markets day and night and at the big expos uh, that are here in Australia that um, the pregnancy card for me was always a star I think other readers have other cards that might turn up for them and that's okay too but um, once again you always want to get them people to go and confirm with their doctor what's going on um, after you've listened to them I find listening a big thing as a reader for me uh, uh, I read more online now I have had people come to my home but then I've had them come to my home for therapy and I have a, a big German shepherd <laughs> and so um, that's the way it goes um, it doesn't bother me and I, I, I tend to cleanse my space between clients uh, uh, as well for energies and things like that now what else is on Marilyn's wonderful list is there any reading that you've done that's given you the chills or impressed you? Um, the hardest thing I found, and this is a lot of years ago when um, I was a young reader and there were other older readers around then, and in the mid 90s, Cairns was a, 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 um, a hot tourist spot, you might say. It was new to the tourist industry and was opening up. So it was tourists coming from all over the world. And a lot of people would have readings with various other people and then they would come to me <laughs> and say so and so said um, I'm going to get hit by a bus or you know um, that the person I'm with is no good and that and I would have to tactfully explain well I don't know what she said but these cards are saying this and this is the cards are saying something else and I'd have to ally a lot of people's fears fortunately now in this day and age you don't seem to get a lot of that because that era of readers have have has uh, have transitioned to another realm if you like um that's sort of the way i see it but maybe marilyn remembers those days um when you'd have um some pretty sort of wild things getting said well or maybe it's just here out in the colonies where it gets a little bit like that so that used to give me the chills. I have done some readings and found one, two, even sometimes three years people have looked me up and told me and some of the times it's been about court cases and various things. I've read for some interesting things because some of the silly places I've read was one time I agreed to read at a October fest and everyone was drunk and uh, so that was sort of interesting. So uh, yeah. But yeah, a lot of people will follow you up and track you down and say this was right and you'd say, oh my goodness, that was a long, long time ago. But one person, their court case dragged on and one lady, it took her 12 months to make some changes she wanted to change, but it all put into place. Because one of the most important things for me, I found, is when you do a reading, the client can see the cards and they can read from A to B you get this and it ends here and it wouldn't my experience has been it wouldn't matter what you said um, they're going to take their own conclusion and I also believe within myself as a reader that once you give someone some information it's theirs to do what they want but uh, that's just my 
my take on my take on it uh, I don't know whether that's because I've studied different things uh, I'm also a clinical hypnotherapist I've done a lot of NLP workshops and uh, counseling workshops with um, charity counseling charities and uh, also my nursing background but we're all different and that's what's beautiful about reading because everyone comes to readings as to be a reader in their own style and in their own way and it's wonderful that we're all different that's my how I see it. My preferred system of tarot. Well, I do love Marseille. However, as I said, um, I use it. I I use it. I have a little mini Grimoire deck. I have a, quite a few other um, Noble and various other decks that I've had that are private collections for me. Uh, I read Lenormand, and a lot of you may have seen on my thing my Lenormand story how my mother had this. A strange little deck, a little Lenormand deck, so I'm quite familiar with that. I do tend to like to go to Rider Waite Smith a lot because the clients like it. Um, I don't tend to do oracle cards so much. Um, Keeper cards I like, uh, but for me, I basically like to read and see who's doing what to whom in that sense. And I, I trace that back, and I've, I might talk about this on some other videos of mine. Um, as a child growing up in with Catholicism I would be sitting in church <laughs> and not listening to the priest drifting off reading looking at the stained glass windows and sort of building the story in my head so I'm, I'm quite visual like that but then I also get little things coming through as well I, I do I like to combine a lot of astrology with my readings because once again that comes back to my roots of my teens so um, and I do scry with the crystal ball uh, so I enjoy doing that I'm sorry I'm looking at the list now despite uh, my, my knowledge is my wish fulfillment card well, I'm not sure about that I don't sort of for me personally I'm I'm not an occultist uh, I, I just sort of like the Rider Waite Smith deck because I, like, I enjoy the, the images more than anything. But I do also like um, the um, Italian decks. And it's, I've got a Spanish Marseille deck too, a Fournier deck, I quite like that. Um, In-person readings, I do read, I have read in person as I just said earlier on. Um, I do do remote, I'm, I'm not a great fan phone reader I have never done phone lines um, services for one reason or another I don't actually understand how they work and I've never even read a phone I've never even read I've never um, rang you know requested a reading from a phone line service uh, just sort of I don't know but if someone if I knew someone I would read for them over the phone but um, I tend to like to do the video recording ones or for people I know locally um, I do let them come into my home office here so uh, but yeah I mean some people do phone readings and they're quite good at them I've been told besides the tarot now I don't do I don't do um, I've talked about the other systems I'm a little bit all over the place aren't I? I'm very sorry what sort of identified your connection with tarot well, I don't know. I just sort of, like I said, I go back to me in high school and um, we we're in a country town and boys and girls, we were school friends and 15, 16, 17, you know, the ages like that, not drinking age, um, 15 and 16. And after school, it was, oh, I don't know if they like me and, you know, why, why won't they talk to me at school and all this sort of stuff. And, I'd drag out the cards because my mum read cards. My mum read those funny little Lenormand card things. So it just sort of, it's natural to me. And also my mother's mother's sister was a spiritualist. And when I went to my grandmother's and stayed in the holidays and things, she would drag me off to Auntie Lily's place and there'd be seances and things. <laughs> so I'm quite, um, quite versed in um, spiritualism and mediumship as, as well due to that sort of funny background, but you can't help what your childhood is, can you? Uh, um, so I think I've covered all of Marilyn's wonderful um, questions. I am working through everyone's 
video I've looked at um, 78 putters um, I have looked at readings by a Diane and uh, obviously Martin's video so thank you for watching mine and I look forward to working through Marilyn's list and thank you so much Marilyn for putting this uh, VR challenge together bye for now